uh, in the previous video the meshing is done and now our main aim is to uh, integrate the governing equations of fluid flow over all the finite control volumes of domain so which will be done by solver so from component system you need to drag the fluent here to uh, compute your uh, results before that you need to update your mesh because you are um, making that mesh into setup of your fluent solver so after updating it uh, the your setup of uh, uh, the fluent solver it takes your mesh data from your mesh component which is in project schematic and then it does uh, the all the solver things which will be done so it is taking some time so actually uh, most of the solver contains three steps okay it is done so now uh, uh, just cross check whether your uh, uh, analysis is studio or not so we can see that uh, our analysis is 2d no need of uh, keeping a double precision because we are doing for only laminar flow and uh, just check these all these values you know what all these were uh, tick or not so that's it as we are doing laminar flow nothing much is needed just click on ok and you will see the solver will open basically any solver uh, contains uh, integration of your governing equations of fluid flow over all finite volumes of the domain discretization which is more likely the conversion of resulting integral equations into a system of algebraic e equations uh, and the solution of algebraic equations by an iterative method so these are the things which will be done in your uh, solver thing so before doing that uh, report to your quality and check whether your uh, orthogonal quality is uh, 0 0.9 here it is 9.9 .9, uh, something e power minus 0 1 which uh, literally means 0 0.9 so orthogonal means how perpendicular your uh, mesh is and uh, we can say so it must be from 0 0.5 to 1 to have a better uh, accuracy result so you can see everything uh, mm, it is fine uh, okay now just look into the solver thing our type of solver thing is a pressure based because we are uh, giving our uh, one atmosphere pressure near the outlet so ours is a pressure based one and the velocity formulation will be absolute because we are giving an absolute velocity of one meter per second in near the inlet so there is no relative velocity and time study we are not doing transient we are doing study state uh, study state analysis so most likely study state is that your uh, skill varieties won't change uh, for uh, with respect to time so there is uh, no point of uh, keeping time so ours is a 2d space and a planner one uh, that's it so most likely check whether uh, these are the options you have and I want to even include the gravity as ours is a 2d uh, uh, flow analysis so our gravitational force will be acting in y direction in the two downwards so we have to keep uh, y value as uh, minus 9.81 meter per second okay now let us go to the models 
एज यू कैन सी मेनी मॉडल्स ऑफ मल्टीफेज एनर्जी विस्कस रेडिएशन हीट एक्सचेंजर स्पीशीज डिस्क्रीट प्लेस एकोस्टिक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल सो एज अवर फ्लो इज लैमिनर फ्लो सो मोस्ट लाइकली अवर विस्कस विल बी लैमिनर सो विल कम अक्रॉस इनविड एंड टर्बलेंट मॉडल्स later so let us go to the materials the materials is most likely what you see so let us go to the problem specification so in the problem specification we can see that the density is 1 kg per meter square and um, viscosity is uh, 2 into 10 power minus 3 kg per meter square so i want to change the values there and then just uh, if i change the values my flow will be uh, laminar flow so click on uh, change or create and then close so uh, once cross check whether the values are same or not okay change or create and then just close it so here the solid is aluminum no matter what the material is uh, the flow velocity will be same as we are looking for the flow velocity so now let us go to the cell zone conditions so here in fluid uh, domain we have the fluid so in the cell zone we'll see there is a fluid flowing so that what it means so in boundary conditions uh, go to the velocity and the uh, velocity inlet and at uh, in the problem specification you can see that the velocity is 1 meter per second so give 1 meter per second velocity here and then just click okay so that means you are uh, model is done and now that is a fluid domain and now our outlet will be pressure outlet because of what uh, flu uh, or type of analysis pressure based so you can see here gauge pressure in pascals so now let us go to the problem specification so gauge pressure uh, in our question it is most likely one atmosphere so the basic reference for gauge pressure is atmosphere so the value will be zero then go to the wall our wall is a stationary wall because our wall is not moving so if it is a moving wall click on the moving wall uh, so accordingly you give the values accordingly your solution will change accordingly your solution time will change and then you will look on to the dynamic mesh and etc etc so our uh, uh, what to say slip condition is a no slip condition because near the wall the velocity in x direction is zero that is what no slip means so when you want to specify the shear you can specify so that's it about the wall uh, which is uh, you see in uh, boundary conditions so click on okay and then proceed so now let us go to the reference values so we are our main we are computing from inlet so we compute from you just click on inlet and you see values here and our reference zone will be fluid domain so we'll be uh, mainly focusing on fluid domain so now let us uh, go to the solution and check on the methods click on the simple method and then when just cross check there are least square based method and then go to uh, monitors and then go for residual here you see the absolute criteria for continuity x velocity and y velocity and just keep it it for uh, 1 e power minus 6 
so that uh, the iteration stops when your value is uh, repeating uh, more number of times with uh, that type of uh, uh, value which is in common with uh, before and after iterations so we won't be doing hybrid initialization ours will be a standard initialization we compute from the inlet and then click on initialize and your uh, solver initialize accordingly and here you give the number of iterations and then calculate so firstly i want to give a uh, thousand uh, iterations no no more i just uh, want to uh, okay i want to go with uh, 100 and then calculate or you can see the continuity x velocity and y velocity graphs with respect to uh, iterations and their values so at 100 iterations our uh, solution is not converged so again i want to repeat this process for one more 100 uh, iterations and even you can see the graph and between iterations and the values of x x velocity y velocity and continuity so now i want to give uh, around 1000 iterations and check whether my uh, solution gets converged or not so you have to keep use uh, changes for current calculations only so it will start from the current calculations and do 100 iterations from the current calculations if you don't want that you can just go with the other option so most likely you see your solution is not converging and uh, most likely it is the uh, the value is almost same there is no change uh, in the value so there is no point of doing many many iterations later on so if you do many many uh, iterations which most likely uh, you are telling your computer to do uh, computation more computations with more or less uh, the same value which doesn't increase the accuracy of the uh, your CFD analysis and more often it uh, increases your time so you can see even the solution is not converged so I uh, I don't want to do much more iterations but then you can see around from 250 or 300 iterations the solution values are most likely the same when you see the graph between uh, residuals and the iterations so okay now uh, mm, i want to do uh, more iterations to give a better idea for you so most likely near 300 on from 300 the value is most likely same with very slight and minute differences so go to file and then save project that's it